Hello and welcome to the Learn Free Switch video series part 10. Today we will learn about record and speak applications. Two easy to use and useful applications in Free Switch, especially when you want to define IVR or interactive voice response. We will learn how to define IVR in the next videos, but here we will use these two applications to record voice prompts for our IVR or use free switch text to a speech application to prepare our IVR menu. Let's start with record application. Record is used to record voice messages. For example, if you want to record a voice prompt for our IVR menu, for example, welcome to company A, for sales press one, for uh, support press two, we need to have a way to record this uh, conversation. Of course, you can record in uh, any other software and then convert it to the specific format and then transfer to your free switch but here is another easy way to use the record application to record the voice prompt that we want to play in the IVR menu in the voicemail or any other places that you need to play a, a voice file so how is it working we, uh, it's very easy you just need to uh, set the application name record the pass of the file that's the two necessary items, the others are actually optional and what are they? They are the time limit seconds, the maximum duration of recording seconds, for example sometimes you want to say I just want the maximum recording to be one minute. Um, don't let the uh, customer or the user to record more than that, you can limit to that. And also the energy level and uh, the number of seconds uh, that the audio is below that silence threshold. This is to detect uh, silent. For example, if it's if it's silent for 200 milliseconds uh, and uh, uh, and the energy level is very low, then uh, consider as the other user disconnected or don't want to record. So you can uh, cut the recording. Usually, you don't need to use these uh, three items, and very easily you can uh, just use the record and pass off the file. And by default, the playback terminator is a star in free switch. It means that when you have recorded your voice message, you need to press a star, but you can change that. And some other variables will be filled after the recording as well. Let's check our example. In this example, I created extension record and with a destination number of 50,001. I set the playback terminator to hash. By default, it is a star. Of course, uh, you can use a star. It means that whenever you want to a stop recording you need to press a star here I wanted to press a hash then the record application and the pass of the recording I want to save the recording in the TMP my recording .wave. here is optional as well because I wanted to wait for 1000 milliseconds and then play back uh, whatever I have recorded in the previous step it will help me to check if it is uh, if I recorded correctly or if it is recorded or not um, so that's my dial plan for recording the uh, conversation. Let's give it a try. So here in my server I have created a dial plan and uh, don't forget to reload the XML so FSCLI reload XML and then let's try. I'm using telephone here and I'm calling 50001 uh, as I'm talking, it's recording, and as you can see, it's saving in my recording.wave. And if I want to uh, terminate the recording, I need to press hash. So let me press hash here. Uh, as I'm talking, it's and recording. it's now and playing my recording. Saving in my recording.wave, and if I want to. Uh, terminate the recording, I need to press hash. Next application is a speak. A speak a speaks a string or a file of text to the channel using the defined text to a speech engine. So we are using the application speak. We define the text to a speech engine, the voice and also the text. The text can be a, um, a string or it can be a text file. We have different text-to-speech engines in the free switch. Here we are using FLIT. And uh, we can set, uh, it's very easy to use. Actually, it's installed by default uh, when you are installing Debian, uh, free switch using Debian package. 
So, and it is enabled in the modules. So you just uh, need to create the dial plan here. For example, I created dial plan uh, 50002. I set the text speech to FLIT, and then I set the TTS voice to SLT. What are the options for T these uh, voices? They are SLT, RMS, AWB, and KAL. As you can see, uh, SLT is female voice, and the other three are male voices. You can check uh, and see which one really uh, matches for you. It's very useful, this application, uh, when you want to play some prompts. Maybe it's not very professional to use as an IVR menu, but for your testing, even for your uh, some uh, voice prompts that you want to record for message, it's very useful. The usage is very straightforward as well. You can use the speak application and then uh, set the text that you want the text to speech engine uh, play for you. Let's give it a try. Here I define the dial plan in my server. As you can see, I'm using a speak application to play uh, this text. Let's try it. We can call 50002. Of course, don't forget to reload XML. For sales, please press 1. For support, please press 2. So it played for sales, press, please press 1. And for support, please press 2. Uh, yeah, that's how the speak application works in the free switch. Thank you for watching. We needed these two applications to uh, work with the IVR that I think I will record it the next video or the following video. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments please put in the comments in my YouTube channel. Thank you and goodbye.